Hello everybody, welcome to Minutes with PJ. Today's date is the 21st of May. It's a Sunday. Our discussion today is going to be on steadfast. In Psalms 136, 1 through 26, Give thanks to the Lord, for He is good, for His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the God of gods, for His steadfast love endures forever. Give thanks to the Lord of lords, for His steadfast love endures forever. To Him, who alone does great wonders, for his steadfast love endures forever. To him who by understanding made the heavens for his steadfast endures forever. 1 Corinthians 16.13 Be on guard, stand firm in faith, be courageous and be strong. 2 Thessalonians 3.5 May the Lord direct your heart to the love of God and to the steadfastness of Christ. Hebrews 10, 23 Let us hold fast the confession of our hope without wavering, for he who promised is faithful. 2 Peter 3, 17 You therefore, beloved, knowing his beforehand, be on your guard so that you are not carried away by the error of unprincipled men and fall from your own steadfastness. Now I'm getting here. Through our trials we are to remain steadfast and know that this light momentarily affliction is preparing for us an eternal weight of glory beyond all comparison. As Christians we are to stand firm in faith, hold on to the truth. It is essential that we meditate on scripture so that we are never deceived because there are many deceivers who try to spread false teaching. People who turn away from God under trial show that they are major trial free existence more than the treasure of God. God's people do not treasure a thornless life. Their chief aim is not to have a tribulation free existence. The chief aim is to see Christ glorified and to be satisfied in the sight of his glory. And this is the way they can remain steadfast under trial. I want you to think about this today. Have a blessed Sunday.